specific black actors in the horror movie scene, my mind automatically goes to uh, Ken Forey from the original 1970s movie Dawn of the Dead. And if not him, then I think of Tony Todd from the prolific slasher movie Candyman. My mind doesn't necessarily go to Eddie Murphy from Vampire in Brooklyn, but I definitely wanted to revisit this movie and touch on a film that was kind of off the beaten trail. I didn't want to like, you know, tread any well-worn ground. I wanted to touch on something that not a lot of people talk too much about. I remember liking this movie a lot back in the day, and in my humble opinion, I feel like uh, director Wes Craven actually kind of speaks to the black community. I mean, he made a movie called The People Under the Stairs that definitely had some strong social commentary running beneath the surface. It's an excellent film, and one that I'm definitely going to have to cover right here on Neon Trash. You guys know this routine. Check out the trailer, peep that shit, and we get back. Y'all motherfuckers are going to know my opinion on Vampire in Brooklyn. Countries, they have roamed the earth. Fearsome creatures of the night. Endlessly seeking to satisfy an unyielding hunger. Now, the world's last vampire is about to encounter something infinitely more terrifying than himself. Brooklyn. Interesting. I've been stabbed, and I've been hanged. Even broken on the rack once, but I've never been shot before. It kind of itches a little. Paramount Pictures presents... If you're hungry, I'll run you down to KFC down the street and hit you off with a two-piece. I already had Italian. Eddie Murphy. Do I look like I would buy it to you? Angela Bassett. You bet not. Not after the day I've had. Eddie Murphy. Everything! Come on! Move it! Yeah, yeah, right. Hey, there's a lot of love in this room. Look at this. And Eddie Murphy. Bottom line, brother and sister, what I'm trying to tell you tonight is that evil is good. Let me hear y'all say it. Evil, evil is good. Is good. Right. If he fails here... Oh. Quickest way to a woman's heart is through the church. It's actually through the rib cage, but that's a bit messy. Being undead, you got the dropsies. Won't be worth living. I'm a cop. If you uh, try anything funny, I'll shoot you. Women. Vampire in Brooklyn. I would love to have you for dinner. You know, honestly speaking, I feel like Eddie Murphy and Angela Bassett are definitely perfect in this movie together. Eddie Murphy clearly revels in the role as the lead vampire here. And yeah, sure, there's moments to the film where he's uh, actually quite hysterical, but he plays it straight. He plays this character like a horror vampire, and he does a lot of mean-spirited things throughout the course of this movie. It's very violent, it's very dark, and it's definitely very Wes Craven. Now, I gotta admit, I'm a huge fan of him as a director. I grew up with his films, I watched Freddy Krueger, I liked movies like, you know, The Serpent and the Rainbow, Shocker, People Under the Stairs. In a lot of ways, this is kind of a segue film, because right after Vampire in Brooklyn, he would have immense success with the movie Scream. And I think that movie's okay. Um, it kind of shaped slasher movies uh, from that point on, and uh, you know that could be seen as for better or worse. It's interesting because when you look at this movie, most people would watch it and be like, "This isn't a success. This is kind of a weird, uh, overly dark, kind of hokey, cheesy vampire film about a black vampire in Brooklyn." And, I don't know, I like it. It's, you know, a different movie. It comes at the whole vampire lore from a different angle, and I really appreciate that. There's a lot of lore behind the character in this movie, and Maximilian, in my opinion, is absolutely frightening. Eddie Murphy's makeup in this film is fucking awesome, especially towards the end. He just looks like a evil fucking vampire bat, and I like that. I like 
full, uh, you know, makeup prosthetics. I like a lot of gore. I like that hark back to the old 1980s slasher scene. So initially when I was about to do this review, I thought to myself, okay, Tom, you know, there's probably better Eddie Murphy movies out there that you could be reviewing for Black History Month, but I don't know. I feel like I picked the perfect movie for Black History Month, especially in terms of Eddie Murphy. This right here shows him stepping out of his comfort zone and really owning the role. I read online that Eddie Murphy wanted to play the character completely straight and definitely horrifying, whereas Wes Craven wanted to come at the character from a more comedic angle. Well, I gotta say, I appreciate Eddie Murphy's push to make the character of Maximilian all the more horrifying because that's what makes this movie really good is the fact that it feels like a horror movie. But this isn't a perfect movie and we don't need to take a deep dive, guys. So with all that being said, out of 10 stars, I could give the movie Vampire in Brooklyn a solid 6 out of 10.